Evan, Evan is awesome. Evan has been building a 3D footprinting for chocolate and we love people who build stuff like that and especially because they share it. Can you introduce yourself? So, like your name, like who you are, where you're from, like okay. all these things. I'm Evan Weinstein. I'm a junior studying mechanical engineering at Penn from Philadelphia and uh, I love chocolate. Awesome. How did you decide to start printing chocolate? Uh, it was senior year of high school and I had an introduction to engineering class and I was sitting in history class one day and I was just thinking, I have the opportunity, opportunity to build anything I want, what do I want to build? So I went to my teacher and I said, I want to build a 3D printer and he looked at me and he goes, that's too boring. You can already buy a 3D printer on the market, you should do something that you can't already buy. So I went back to him the next day and, and we talked about um, what can you not already get and I decided a chocolate 3D printer was something that was close enough to what I already wanted to do originally but was um, you know unique enough that you couldn't already buy it on the market. So, all it's doing here is it's uh, the uh, chocolate is in a syringe in the aluminum tube here and I'm using uh, pressurized air at about 15 psi to extrude the chocolate and then uh, on a day like today it's a little bit too hot um, for the cooling system but generally the cold air comes through this black tube and um, it'll solidify it um, right after it prints so that I can do complex 3D geometry and uh, tall bases. I've done um, four to five inch tall bases that are about 150 layers that uh, the chocolate solidified immediately after extruding so that it can do the next layer up. Uh, so on a day like today though, it's hotter outside than my general printing temperature is at. I generally print at about 30 Celsius. Um, and so I'm sticking to flat things today, but it's still working out well. How does, can you explain us a little bit more about the whole setup? About uh, the whole setup? Yeah. So instead of um, telling uh, the printer that's a chocolate printer through software, it thinks it's still using a stepper motor to extrude and I'm going through a custom circuit that takes the peak waves that go into the stepper motor driver and converts them to uh, square waves for the pneumatics. Um, and then on the cooling system side, I'm using six of these uh, Peltier devices where this side will get very cold and this side will get very hot. And I'm water cooling the hot side and then the cold side I'm using to uh, cool the aluminum and um, cool the air that is eventually blown onto the chocolate. And so it's a um, fully custom built printer though. Um, and all the parts, all the 3D printed parts, and all the laser cut and machine parts um, I did. Um, and so, it works now. It's, awesome. it's about a third weekend working. What is this thing? So Cocoa Buddy is uh, an external heater, so that while I am printing chocolate, I can also uh, have extra chocolate heating so that I can, for a very long print, just drop in a replacement cartridge. There's no screws required to switch out the cartridge. Or just so that after I finish a print, I can start a new print right away. That's so I don't awesome. have to wait for chocolate to uh, heat up again. You should get in contact, like, well, they, 